Good morning, YouTube. It is 4.05 on this Tuesday. Uh, today's topic is uh, graphene spider webs. Way too early for that Higgs chromosome in space, the electrons like the magnetism of particles and momentum to receptors, radiation, our mathematics, a solution, asteroid. What am I doing up? Um, so where do we start here? Graphene. If you remember graphene, um, graphene is this substance that's it's carbon, uh, and it's a form of carbon where you have uh, these it's these graphene sheets and and the graphene is is one atom layer thick and so it's this flash flash flat sheet of carbon and when the carbon are linked up they're linked up in a hexagon you know, six-sided and so it's super strong super lightweight um, and because it's one atom thick it's really flexible so uh, what do they do some scientists took uh, a spray of carbon nanotubes and graphene flakes um, in spray form and they took a spider uh, and they sprayed the spider actually probably a bunch of spiders and they sprayed down the spiders um, and I'm not sure what they were trying to do but what ended up happening is that they looked at the webs that were spun by those spiders and those webs had the graphene and the um, um, and the carbon nanotubes uh, embedded in the spider web after the spider was sprayed with it so honestly you know, they're not entirely sure <laughs> what happened they think maybe that the spiders hmm. excuse me that the spiders um, absorb the graphene and the carbon nanotubes into their skin or into their bodies and then somehow their bodies incorporated it into the spider silk and then once they spun the web the silk and the the carbon nanotubes uh, were spun together and so you know web web material by itself is super strong um, but with these carbon nanotubes <sighs> excuse me and these graphene flakes it became even stronger um, I think they were saying it was as strong as Kevlar. Uh, Kevlar is, is this material that's super strong and flexible. We use it for uh, bulletproof vests and whatnot. <laughs> so, you know, again, they don't understand how this works. They, they, um, but it, it's in, it's intriguing. The, the problem with spider silk is that, you know, as, as a material, it's, it's, it's great. Um, it has a lot of different properties like strength. Remember we had an episode on spider silk where if you could, if you could create, um, an implant with spider silk, the bot and, and insert it into the body, the body doesn't react to it. It's, it's antimicrobial, um, and all this good stuff. The problem with spider silk is that it's hard to harvest. Um, and you know, you can't just have these spider farms because spiders tend to fight each other. <laughs> so you can't have a million spiders. You have to have a spider in their own space. But even then, uh, it's hard to farm these and it's hard to, to, um, to get it, to collect enough spider silk to do anything with. So, um, it's easier working with silk worms, uh, but they don't know if this method of spraying and then having the silk get embedded with this graphene and this carbon nanotube stuff, if that works with the silkworms, uh, which, but they're going to try it. So that's their next step. So, um, yeah, 
That's all there is to say about that. Yeah, it's kind of it's interesting. You know, we they, there are these we find these effects that we can't explain. We have no idea how they work, uh, but we definitely see the results of, and and so sometimes we move forward with it. Um, all right, that's enough to say about that. I gotta go get to work. You gotta go do whatever it is you do. I wonder. I wonder if this could be like the beginning of a of a Spider Man Spider Man tech. Who knows? Uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>